On Tuesday, May 14th, 2019, Extra PB-1086 is on the final leg of its 600-mile journey to the Allegheny Museum restoration shops of the Pennsylvania and Berwyn Railroad. Secured to a pair of modified TTX flat cars is the former St. Louis and Lexington 462 Heavy Pacific No. 1086. The train originated in Elizabethtown, Kentucky, having departed two weeks earlier via CSX on April 30th. Much to the dismay of rail fans following along the way, the train was tied up for nearly a week in Huntington, West Virginia, due to flooding along the route skirting the Ohio River. After six grueling days, the go-ahead was finally given for the train to make its way north via Henderson, Parkersburg, and New Martinsville, West Virginia. From there, it headed east to Grafton, West Virginia, Cumberland, Maryland, and Rockwood, Pennsylvania, and finally to the P&B Railroad Interchange just west of Juniata. There, the railroad's RS-27, number 3002, was waiting to complete the final 17 miles to Allegheny. fans have gathered at the Allegheny Museum Station to witness the arrival of the railroad's newest addition. Back on rails again. The steam crew wastes little time getting the engine moved indoors so restoration work can begin. Wednesday, September 20th, 2023, a monumental event is taking place outside the restoration shops. It's been four long years of arduous work and numerous obstacles needed to be overcome. But with a successful hydrostatic boiler test earlier in April, the engine was partially reassembled and a fire was lit in her firebox for the first time in 72 years. The crew patiently waits as pressure slowly builds up in the boiler, and excitement was in the air as the gauge reached 200 PSI and the safety valve finally lifted. On Saturday, March 23rd, 2024, the 1086 is under steam once again. The shop crew was kept busy over the winter months, reassembling crucial parts and systems on the engine, as well as installing a brand new cab fixture. After hours of preparation, the engine is finally ready to attempt her first movements. With a slight slip of the drivers, the engine slowly inches away from the shop, moving under its own power for the first time since 1951. Friday, May 3rd, 
The 1086 is out on the high iron for a short six-mile break-in run eastbound to Mount Union. After the first successful test run six weeks earlier, work began in earnest to ready the engine to venture out on the main line. Since there is nowhere to turn the train in Mount Union, RS-27 number 3004 will lead the short three-car train on the return trip. At Mount Union, the train has taken the siding just west of the station for servicing. The 1086 lacks modern roller bearings on her axles and running gear, so the crew is busy checking bearing temperatures as well as evaluating the performance of the engine's mechanical lubricator. This also provides a great opportunity for some hands-on training for the newer, less seasoned crew members. The servicing was temporarily halted on the engine as the afternoon's excursion to Highland blasts by on the main line. With the servicing complete, the train departs westbound for Allegheny with the 3004 in the lead. A couple of fishermen have set up camp along the lake as the train drifts by. On Friday, June 14th, downtown Allegheny is bustling with activity with the start of the town's third annual Railroad Days celebration. The event was first held in June 2021 in conjunction with the museum's grand reopening following a 15-month closure due to the pandemic. This year's celebration has sparked a substantially larger interest with the announcement of the 1086's debut. Outside the shop, the 1086 is staged for the general public to get an up-close view of the locomotive. With her dark graphite smoke box, light gray boiler jacketing, and lush red cab roof, the 1086 has been beautifully restored to her former St. Louis and Lexington Railroad livery. Built in 1929, the 1086 was the only locomotive of her class delivered to the railroad and was also the largest and heaviest locomotive on the railroad's roster. She was used extensively in heavy passenger train service until being sidelined in 1951. The engine was stored serviceable until August 1954, when she was finally retired and eventually sold for scrap to Baker Iron and Metal. In 1956, a petition was started to save the 1086 from scrapping and in a bizarre twist of fate, Baker Iron and Metal donated the engine to the city of Lexington. She was placed on display at Arcadia Park, 
where she would remain for the next 58 years. In 2014, plans were being drawn up to repurpose the grounds of Arcadia Park, and the 1086 found herself in need of a new home. She was moved 85 miles west to Elizabethtown, where she was stored until being purchased by the PNB in October 2018. After six months of negotiating and planning with CSX, the 1086 and her tender were finally ready to head to their new home. A short coal train speeds by as the 1086 takes a spin on the turntable. The engine will be facing west for her inaugural 32-mile round trip to Juniata. Spotted at the Union Station platform, the engine crew converses as passengers board the eight-car train consisting of an open-air gondola, two open-air coaches, four arch roof coaches, and a caboose. Running at 35 miles an hour, the 1086 makes easy work at the eight-car train as she leaves the Allegheny city limits at Briar. At Juniata, the 1086 runs around the passenger train for the 16-mile return to Allegheny. The engine will run in reverse since the turntable in Juniata is currently inoperable. Long-term plans call for the restoration of the turntable, the water tower, and the two-stall engine shed in the coming years.
A nighttime photo session was held late Friday night for the benefit of the photographers. Laro Photography and Trains Magazine were both on hand to provide lighting and direction for the shoot surrounding the Allegheny Museum turntable. The next morning finds the 1086 back in Juniata under dreary skies. The engine is embarking on a rare mileage venture across the lightly used elevated trackage through the center of town. From a balcony high above, overlooking Main Street, the 1086 is slowly eased over the massive structure. Due to track conditions and less than favorable weather, the engine is limited to a mere eight miles an hour. The current plate girder bridge was built in 1959, replacing the original span from 1911. Thus, today's trip marks the very first time that a steam locomotive has ever operated over this newer bridge. At Juniata Park, a 1086 sits posed while a sizable crowd braves the rain to get a glimpse of the steam engine. The local Eyewitness News team is also on site, televising live coverage of today's event. Church bells ring in harmony with the 1086 as her whistle salutes the town at 12 noon. The 1086 is once again slowly eased over the bridge and will head back to Allegheny for servicing and display. A scheduled photo run by past the park was canceled due to the inclement weather. Later in the afternoon, the sun has finally made an appearance over Allegheny. The 1086 basks in the glimmering sun as work is underway to assemble the train for tomorrow's grand finale excursion. On Sunday, June 16th, the Railroad Day's grand finale excursion is officially underway. This sold-out trip required 17 cars and will cover 54 miles round trip to the Grafton Station and back, spanning over half of the railroad's trackage. Coupled behind the 1086 and her two tenders are the power generator car, eight coaches, the railroad's gift shop souvenir car, four lounge cars, two full-length superdomes, and the observation car, totaling 1,282 tons. This will be the first time the 1086 has ventured past Mount Union and the first steam locomotive in three quarters of a century to cross the Stone Arch Viaduct at Everett.
Inside the souvenir car, a large selection of P&B brand merchandise is available for purchase, as well as various railroad books, magazines, DVDs, and model trains for all ages. It also provides an opportunity for passengers to take in the fresh air coming through the large open doors on either side of the car. The 1086 had the train really moving as she stormed past the station at Mount Union.
A large crowd is on hand to greet the train at the Grafton station. Here, the passengers will be afforded a three-hour layover to see the town and to photograph the locomotive close-up. With the train's arrival, the 1086 has now covered the entire PNB main line from end to end. 45,000 man hours over the last five years by PNB shop crews has culminated in a magnificently restored example of steam railroading history. This year's third annual Railroad Day celebration turned out to be a tremendous success. The record turnout and flawless performance of the newly restored steam engine has solidified the event's place for years to come. There's no telling what other surprises the railroad has in store for the future. For more information on the Pennsylvania and Berwyn 1086 and other models available for Train Simulator, visit KNL Trains online at www.kltrains.com. And to get your copy of the Pennsylvania and Berwyn route presented in this video, visit Approach Medium's website at www.approachmedium.com. If you've enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing below and hit the notification bell to be alerted when a new video is uploaded. You can also follow along at KNL Train's Facebook page and see progress of the latest projects being worked on. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.